Hi, welcome to the Gaming Archive. I'm Tom, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to connect up your PlayStation 1 uh, so that you can capture your gameplay. Uh, so if you love your PlayStation 1 and you've got loads of games and you want to capture your gameplay, this is what we do. Uh, so let me just show you the back of this one. So this is similar. And if you, like most people, when you get your PlayStation, when your PS1, you guess uh, this is what you get to connect up. So I'm sure you, the, the power supply is no problem, but to connect up the signal for your video, uh, you get an AV. So what we do is we connect up the AV to an AV to HDMI uh, adapter, and then we basically convert the signal from your PlayStation 1 to HDMI. Very simple, a little gadget like this costs four or five pounds from eBay or Amazon. And no problem getting it. Uh, and as I say, this will basically uh, convert the signal to HDMI. Right, so to capture your gameplay, you've got your signal comes out, goes through the adapter, and comes out as HDMI and it enters the game uh, the game recorder or the game capture card which is here it's an Elgato HD 60X and it is probably one of the best products on the market for doing gameplay uh, for especially for YouTube etc uh, so the signal comes from the PlayStation 1 goes into the back using HDMI once it enters the game card, uh, it de the signal then goes to the computer and is captured here. So basically you're seeing two screens. This is the computer screen showing uh, the game capture. Uh, this is where we control when and what to capture. Uh, afterwards, once you've saved it, once it's been saved, you can then uh, take it into a video editing like, you know, you can get Filmora, etc and uh, do what you need with it but uh, comes out of the PlayStation 1 goes to the Elgato goes to the computer and at the same time it's showing the signal on the TV so that's the one you're looking at to play presumably you might end up looking at the two of them we generally leave the two one so it's very very simple you get yourself an adapter to convert the signal from the AVs uh, to HDMI, plug the HDMI into the back of the Elgato. That, you need a computer, need a monitor, the signal from the game capture card will go to your computer. That's just a, a standard USB and it'll be captured. You need a reasonably decent hard disk and if you don't have, you can always buy an external and plug that in so that you can capture to an external hard drive if your hard drive isn't big enough. Because some of the games, if you run for an hour or something like that on Mario or a new, uh, you know, the, the, the newer games uh, suitable for the PS1, they are generally uh, take up a bit of memory, so you might need to upgrade. Anyway, uh, signal goes to your Elgato, Elgato goes to the computer, and then the computer again in HDMI. So there's only, there's only three uh, ports on the back of the capture card, two HDMI and one... Uh, which it goes to the computer. Uh, we've been using Elgato for maybe two years now and uh, when we started off we tried to go cheap. We bought some of the cheaper uh, game capture cards and I mean cheap like £30, £40 and they were absolute murder to work with because they were too glitchy. Sometimes they'll work, sometimes they don't. You change from one console to another, wouldn't work. But uh, sometimes the time lag is there, sometimes they'll just cut out and you'll have uh, breaks within, within the play for a few seconds. So you're constantly having to edit this stuff out. Uh, so it's an absolute nightmare to use because the idea that you sit down there to play a bit of gameplay and record it for an hour. You don't want to spend half an hour underneath the table pulling wires to check what the hell is wrong. And you end up so frustrated, no game, no record, nothing recorded. And all because you bought badly or you bought cheap. Get your Elgato. This is entry level for good quality. It's HD60X. 
and we recommend it, we completely recommend it. I'm going to put a link into the description for this video where you should be able to get it at the best possible price in the UK. So check out the link, check out the description on this video and you should be able to get all the details you need to save yourself a few bob and get yourself a lovely uh, reliable screen capture card. So the system is very simple. As you can see, we're playing, what are we playing? We're playing Army Men 3D. I love this game. I absolutely love it. I could play it all day. I, I, I think I've probably done a little recording on it, 15, 20 minutes uh, recording on it uh, at some point already. I remember doing it earlier in the year, and that's on our gaming archive channel if you want to look for it. You can see the quality. So the quality is great. There's no time lag. Uh, there's no latency issues. Um, you get a great signal and it's, it's, it's just a pleasure to work with it. So it's really, really simple. So if you're really interested in getting your, if, you, if you're a decent gamer and you really like to see your gameplay up on YouTube, then get on with it. Get yourself a YouTube channel. Get yourself an El Elgato card. And uh, yeah, get on gaming and uh, meet some new friends. Possibly make a little money if you're really good with it. Okay, that's nothing more I can tell you. You now know everything you need to know. Uh, to be able to capture your gaming and <laughs> well uh, capture your gaming and pop it up to YouTube that's something else but you're going to have to learn that as well all right thanks very much for watching uh, hopefully you've got hopefully you got some uh, knowledge back or you got some value for having a look if you've got any comments or something just leave a comment in the uh, on the video and uh, I'll come on back to you if you've got a question or two Okay, brilliant. Good luck with everything you do. Thanks very much for watching. Bye now.